Now, of late, there has been a massive influx of TWS earphones, especially the under 5,000 rupees range, which has kept our ears at Mr. Phone quite busy. Now, quite interestingly, smartphone OEMs have had the most launches in this category as more and more brands are expanding their product portfolios, which is why amidst the reviews of the Oppo Enco W51 or the OnePlus Buds, these might have slipped under your radar. Now this right here is Jay's latest concoction, the M5 True Wireless Earphones and in this review, I will be sharing my two cents of using these as my primary earphones for well over a week. But guys, before we get on with the video, make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any quality tech content that we put out. Now that you have done that, let's get on with the full review of the Jay's M5 True Wireless Earphones. Now for those of you who do not know, Jays is a Swedish brand and I am fairly versed with most of their products. Now one thing I can tell you right now is that the Swedes know how to design a good looking product. Now case in point, the M5 earphones which look the part of a premium product from every angle. Now let's start with the case and here the company has employed plastic in the unit's construction and has wrapped it in this velvety matte finish which trust me offers a phenomenal in hand feel. I also love how the company's logo is etched below the battery indicator and it isn't painted like you'd see on most other products. It's really the little things that make the design of the M5 stand out from the herd of all other black TWS earphones out there. Speaking of which, as you can tell, the case comes coated in a black paint job which lends this a fairly minimalistic look but thanks to these tastefully put shiny chrome accents, the case also looks darn classy. Now as for the ports and the buttons, the M5 True Wireless earphones ship with a USB Type-C port at the bottom along with a physical button towards the back of the case, long pressing which would also put the buds in pairing mode. Now the earbuds also latch magnetically to the case, ensuring they won't spill out should you drop the case, so that's a pretty nifty feature to have on hand. Now on that subject, let's take a look at the design of the earphones and here, the individual earbuds offer a teardrop shaped design with the JS branding edged on the outer shell. Now the earbuds have been constructed out of plastic too and therefore are quite light and comfortable to wear over long listening sessions. Now they do protrude outwards ever so slightly meaning they will bite your ears if you try and wear them to sleep but other than that I faced no issues with the fit whatsoever. Also try as I might I couldn't shake them off so rest assured these will stay put in your ears even if you're doing an intense HIIT circuit. Now that reminds me, the earphones are IPX5 rated so they can stave off damage from sweat and splashes of water. You also get gesture based input with the buds which thanks to the earpieces flat outer surface work flawlessly during my testing. So you can long press the left or the right earbud to increase or decrease the volume respectively or double tap to skip to the next track. Now triple tapping on either of the two buds will invoke the search assistant of your choice and as you can see on your screen right now, all these gestures worked really well too. Now the only qualm of using the Jay's M5 True Wireless earphones in the design department at least was that these do not come with wear detection so whenever I took the earphones out it wouldn't automatically pause my track which just feels so 2019 now. Uh, one more thing is that these earphones do not, uh, they do not pair with two devices at the same time which means that you constantly have to disconnect from your primary phone or your laptop and then reconnect to a separate device which got quite tedious down the line. But take my word for it, these do make up for it in the sound department so let's talk about that now. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Jay's M5 True Wireless earphones pack a wallop in the sound department, but before I get on with that, let's take a look at the specs. So Jay's M5 are backed by a pair of 6mm drivers positioned inside each earpiece which can operate across a frequency spectrum of 20Hz to 20kHz. Now the pair connects to compatible devices over Bluetooth version 5.0 and comes with support for SBC codec only. Now the last part had me concerned but after listening to the pair for a while, my doubts have been resolved fully. Now starting with the unit's sound signature, the Jay's M5 TWS earphones offer a bass forward sound with some refinements over the competition. Now for one, while the bass output isn't as tight on the M5 as compared to say the Enco W51, it's much more voluminous and despite that, there's very little spillage in the rest of the frequency spectrum. Now don't get me wrong, the bass doesn't sound loose or flabby, but you do feel the beats reverb ever so slightly. 
Now, let me give you an example of the same. Now, if you listen to Make It Burn Them by Skrillex, then you will find ample depth and solid punch in the beats without much coloration in the vocals when listened through the M5s. Also, this song has a very aggressive attack in the sense that it offers a chaotic beat drop, but the M5 rose to the occasion by offering minimal decay, ensuring my ears heard all of the song and then some. Now, this brings me to the unit's imaging, which under Rs. 5000 is among the best I've heard. Now, let's go back to our comparison with the W51, which is a treble forward headset. Now, despite that, I noticed that I could make out the notes from the electric guitar in the bridge part of North Panic's We Won't Surrender track much more clearly with the M5. Now here, the lead guitarist breaks out into a melodic solo, but there's still plenty going on in the background and the sound didn't appear muddy to my ears at all. The same goes for La 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 by Y2K, wherein during the entirety of the track, you'll have the kick drums, a tune from the guitar and the vocalist singing at the same time. Now, while the Enco W51 offers a slightly tighter beat in this song, there's very little clarity in the strums of the guitar and I found it difficult to trace the entire tune with everything else going on. On the M5, however, I could easily handpick one instrument from the other. Also, the buds are fantastic to listen to podcasts on as there is little to no sibilance, so words ending in an S will not hiss in your ears. Battery life has been quite good for me though, and while the earphones don't quite live up to the company's four and a half hours claim, I managed to get a little over three hours and 40 minutes with the volume set to 70%. Still, for a pair of TWS headsets, this is a solid number, especially when you couple in the case's battery backup, which is around 18 additional hours. Now coming to the call quality, the Jay's M5 is just not cut out for calls and while it does do a serviceable job, you'll have a much better experience with a stem-based TWS earphone like the Oppo Enco W51 or the OnePlus Buds. But you don't just have to take my word for it, here is a sample. हाँ so it might be a closer position in the face but okay but this is a clearly better option yeah yeah okay okay cool oh. now and before anyone asks in the comments I do not use Bluetooth earphones to play video games of any sort on any platform but if you are curious there is a noticeable latency when using these to play games like Call of Duty Mobile so please just stick to wide earphones. So, for its asking price of Rs. 5000, why should you buy the JSM5 over something like the Oppo Enco W51 or the OnePlus Buds? Now, clearly, these do not offer the best functionality as they do not come with active noise cancellation or uh, wear detection or even offer a good call quality experience. But take my word for it, these are one of the best sounding earphones that you can get under Rs. 5000, and the sound, the imaging, especially of these earphones, has me blown away. I could hear every single instrument in every single track and that is with a bass forward sound signature. So imagine if you use an app like, not to mention, these also offer one of the best looking designs that I've come across, are quite durable and offer a good enough battery life. So if you prioritize sound quality over everything else, I'd say pick the JS M5 True Wireless earphones. If not, and you do want features like wear detection on your next truly wireless earbuds, then, well, the market has no shortage of compelling options. But guys, that wraps up my full review of the Jay's M5 True Wireless earphones. Do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, this is Prateek from Mr. Phone, signing off.